a polished metal pipe 5 cm outside diameter 370 kelvin at the outer surface is exposed to the ambient condition at 295 the emissivity of the surface is 0.2 and the heat transfer coefficient is 11.33 and by natural convection so we'll consider this one as heat transfer by natural convection per meter length of pipe what would be the overall heat transfer coefficient by the combined mode so diameter is 0 0.05 meters and length is given or length you have to consider as 1 meter coefficient that is cylinder is 370 emissivity is emissivity of this surface is 0 0.2 outside is atmospheric so this one is body number 2 if the body number 2 is atmosphere then is A2 equals to infinity shift factor from body number 1 to 2 is F12 equal to 1 in this case the atmosphere is maintained at temperature equals to 295 so this is the same case that we have discussed earlier in this case heat transfer by radiation is given by so heat transfer by radiation is simply given by epsilon 1 multiplied by a1 multiplied by sigma t1 to the power 4 minus t to the power 4 epsilon n is 0.2 surface area of cylinder is peripheral area is pi d into l into sigma is stefan bullman constant 5.67 T1 is 370 to the power 4, T1 is 290 to the power 4, this it is transferred by radiation and this is equals to radiation is 19.85. Now we will get is the product of H multiplied by surface area of cylinder multiplied by T1 minus T2. H is 11.33. Surface area is same pi dl. Pi 2.05 into 1. T1 is 370 and T2 is 295 133.49 watts the combined heat transfer is convection plus radiation which is equals to 19.85 plus 133.49 and heat transfer is 153.34 can be written as Q combined equal to surface area multiplied by H combined multiplied by T1 minus T2 Q combined is 153.34 equals to surface area is pi into D into L and temperature is T1 minus T2 combined heat transfer is 13.01 watt per meter square per Kelvin a pipe with a surface temperature of 480 is kept with a large enclosure whose walls are at 380 presuming the pipe surface to be black calculate the heat transfer heat the calculate the coefficient of radiant heat transfer if the heat transfer coefficient including the effect of radiation and convection is 34.9 find the convective heat transfer coefficient cylinder body is black body so for black body what is epsilon 1 1 what is t1 t1 is 480 what is the outside temperature of surrounding T2 is 480, 380 is very very large per year by radiation, convection, transfer coefficient. First of all, we will find out heat transfer by radiation. Heat transfer by radiation equals to epsilon 1 into A1 into T1. So, sigma epsilon 1 is 1. We don't know any area above this one, so we write simply as A1. T1 is 480 to the power 4. T2 is 380 to the power 4. And 67, 10 to the power minus 8. Heat transfer by radiation is 1827.7 A1. To find out the equivalent coefficient of equivalent coefficient of radiant heat transfer, we equate this Q radiation to equivalent quantity of convection. It is 1827.7. A1 and we write this H equivalent that is convert radiation into effective heat transfer coefficient 
multiplied by a1 multiplied by t1 minus t2 put for t1 t2 and find out h equivalent so if we substitute here a1 cancel and you can calculate h equivalent equivalent heat transfer is 18.27 watt per meter square kelvin now we'll write h combined is purely due to convection plus equivalent heat transfer coefficient of radiation the total combined is given as 34.9 combined heat transfer coefficient is 34.9 question you want to find out and equivalent so heat transfer purely by convection is 16.62 watt per meter square kelvin proceed is clear an electric system heating system is installed in the ceiling of a room that measures 5 meter by 5 meter with a height of 2.5 meter the temperature of ceiling is maintained at 320 whereas the under equilibrium conditions the walls are at 300 work out the energy radiant energy loss from the ceiling to the wall the floor is non sensitive to the radiation floor will not take part in the radiation and the emissivity of ceiling and the wall are 0.7 and 0.6 so let construct figure first and the size of this one is 5 meter by 5 meter this one is ceiling and ceiling is maintained at 320 so 320 is the larger temperature so we make t1 equals to 320 and we call the ceiling as body number 1 area of this hash portion is the area of the ceiling is 5 by 5 25 meter square and emissivity is 0.7 the bottom one is floor and is non sensitive to radiation so it will not participate in radiation it means that remaining four vertical wall will participate in radiation so remaining four vertical walls we modeled as body number 2 so four walls four wall will consider as body number 2 and one wall has a area of 5 multiplied by 2.5 like this we have four identical walls so total area is emissivity of all four wall is 0.6 and is maintained at temperature equal to 300 kelvin So radiation heat transfer is demonstrated by three resistances. One is surface, one is space, and one is another surface. And shift factor here one one is equals to zero because it's a flat surface. So one one plus one two is equals to one equals to one. Resistance R one is the surface is given by one minus epsilon one divided by epsilon a one. We simply substitute for epsilon one equals to point seven, and a one equals to twenty five. So resistance R one is point zero one seven one four. Similarly, we can calculate R two. R two is given by one upon a one f one two. A one is twenty five, and f one two we just calculate is one. So this is point zero four. R3 is similar to R1 is 1 minus epsilon 2 upon epsilon 2 a2 is 1 minus 0.6 upon 0.6 into 50. This 0.0113. Finally, we write down Q12 equals to sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by summation of all resistances. So we have substituted sigma equals to 5.67 10 to the power minus 8. T1 is 320. T2 is 300. R1 plus R2 plus R3 is sum of this is 0.0747. 1920.39 watts. Correct. We have two parallel walls, two parallel infinite gray surfaces maintained at 400 and 500 Kelvin. So we model this as plate 400 and 500. The temperature of hot surface is increased to 600. By what factor? Radiation exchange per unit area increase. Assume emissivity of colder and hotter surface are 0.9 and 0.7. Initially, we have to calculate for 400 to 500. Then you have to calculate for 600 to let's a1 equal to a2 equal to a t1 equals to t2 equal to 400. Emissivity of colder is 0.9, so colder is 400 and hotter is 0.7. So heat transfer by radiation is given by sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 surface resistance. Then we have a space resistance and we have a 
surface stress. We take the advantage of A1 equal to A2 and shape factor for 1, 2 is always equals to 1. So we will substitute and we will simplify this. So there is no change in numerator 1 upon epsilon 1, A1 and A1 and A2 all are shifted in numerator as A. So this term is 1 upon epsilon 1. Then it's a epsilon 1 by epsilon 1 is minus 1. Shape factor 1, 2 is 1. So this equals to plus 1. This is 1 upon epsilon 2. And this is epsilon 2 by epsilon 2 is minus 1. So after rearranging we get Q12 equal to sigma T1 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 4 A upon 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus 1. Now remember this equation every time for plate you can quickly use this equation. Now substitute the value of epsilon 1, epsilon 2, T1, T2 and find out value of Q12. So sigma is 5.67 10 to the power minus 8, T1 is 500 10 to the power 4, T2 is 400 to the power 4, epsilon 1 is 0.7, epsilon 2 is 0.9 minus 1. So we adjust this A in the denominator so we get heat transfer rate per unit area is 1359 watt per meter square. In second condition the temperature of hot surface becomes 600 Kelvin in the temperature of low surface that still remain equals to 400. So everything remains same in this equation except instead of 500 you have to write down 600. So new heat transfer rate will be to find out percentage increase minus Q12 upon Q12 multiplied by 100. If you substitute all this value you will get percentage increase because this is positive so it's a increase 181 percent. It's a final minus initial upon initial. Remember this formula for quick calculation of flat plate. We have two very large parallel plates with emissivity of 0.3 and 0.8. Exchange radiative heat transfer, radiative energy, determine the percentage reduction. There is no idea of T1, T2. They are remain constant. They are remain constant. So we are not given T1, T2, so we will calculate all values in terms of T1 and T2. Epsilon 1 is 0.3, Epsilon 2 is 0.8, A1 equal to A, F11 is 0, shape factor 1, 2 equals to 1. So we will directly use the last equation. Substitute for Epsilon 1, Epsilon 2 and minus 1, that's all. Don't put for Sigma, T1, T2 to the power 4. So Q1 equals to 0.279, Sigma, T1 to the power 4, T2 to the power 4. This one is without shield. So with shield we have 1, 2, in between this we have radiation shield 3. Epsilon 3 is given as 0 0.03. Factor 1, 3, 1. Similarly, shape factor for 3, 2 is 1. 1 and 3. So there are 3 resistances for 1 and 3. And there are 3 more for 3, 2, 2. We will just copy down this equation. Previously, transfer was taking place between 1 and 2. That is why we have 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus 1. Now, heat transfer is taking place between 1 and 3. So, we have 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 3 minus 1, 2. So, just copy down again same. It's a 1 upon epsilon 3 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus 1, 2.8 and epsilon 3, 0 0.04, 0.0196. 0 0.019 sigma t1 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 4. Now this is the heat transfer is with shield. So this quantity is more as compared to this quantity 0 0.019. It means that there is a reduction in heat transfer. So we want to calculate percentage reduction. So we have q1 minus q2 divided by original value that is q1. This answer I already made initial minus final. So it's a reduction and multiply by 100. Final answer is 93.18%. It's a reduction percentage.